not possible. The pathologist may be able to take fingerprints from the body, and if decay has set in, things become more complicated. Chaque année, le festival londonien Gods of Grind réunit le gratin du death metal à l'Astoria. 1992 n'a pas échappé à la règle avec en tête d'affiche Carcass et Entombed. A noter que Pestilence, le Tintin de Metal Express, a dormi pendant toute la soirée. Fatigue extrême ou beuverie mal digérée, le mystère plane. I play death metal, I guess. I mean, I, I don't go out on the street and, and hit someone because he, I mean, he would like, uh, like pushes my my arm or something. I don't, I don't care about that, you know. Uh, I guess we're nobody of us are really violent persons. Death metal has got nothing to do with that, I guess. Uh, I mean, personally, I just play death metal because I find it interesting, very interesting. Uh, I find death and life, the mysterious about le that it'll, life and death, very interesting. And uh, that's where the lyrics come from, and uh, it's kind of fascinating. Death metal is about singing about death, you know, so we just wanted to make it a bit more um, tangible. I mean, uh, rather than, like, going to see Evil Dead and writing a song about it, it'd be, you know, not that we do, but, you know, you'd see Silence of the Lambs, maybe, and, and take it into that co sort of context, you know, a bit more um, realistic. I mean, of course, it's still fantasy, and it's still, you know, out in another world, but we just wanted to make it a bit more, uh, I don't know. Nottingham, England, heaviest label in the world, and um, basically uh, tonight we've got the uh, the Gods of Grind show, which is happening at the Astoria in London, um, which is a package put together um, by Earache Records to promote four of our. Uh, biggest upcoming bands, that's namely Confessor, Cathedral, Entombed and Carcass. They're gonna get, you know, almost like three or four different kinds of, of, uh, of people buying this thing. And, you know, you'll get the, the Carcass and Entombed, you know, like death metal. Then you'll get the doom metal, you know, people for Cathedral and then people maybe just curious as to who, you know, what we're like. Or, and I'm sure, you know, some of them that'll that buy it for the other bands, you know, they'll say, well, forget it. We don't want to hear Confessor or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it'll, it'll probably sell better that way. Gods of Grind is a good tour, I think, because the people get a chance to see four really different bands, both extreme. You know, it's different, but still extreme. And, uh, well, I don't consider Entomb a grind band, though. It's the only thing.
when Cathedral started, we didn't think about pleasing anybody except ourselves, because it was basically uh, just something that we wanted to do. Because there was no band in England really playing the sort of stuff that we were listening to. We were pure fans of the music. We didn't we didn't even expect to have an album out. We didn't expect people to like us even to start with, you know. Really closely linked to Earache in the early days. Late on there was, you know, our third release, also the, the eighth one. We have these Mosh catalogue numbers, but also Carcass came out at the time, the debut Carcass album, Rita Pudi Fraction. That was because of the involvement of Bill Steer, who was then the guitarist of Napalm Death. Unseen Terror was an early record we put out. That was like Shane, who later became uh, the bass player of Napalm Death. It was like a little family of people that were into extreme grind music. in England at the time, there was like 12 people or something that were into this music. You know, it really was of small people that could make this music. I mean, a lot of people were into it, but the people that were the musicians to make this type of music, they were like... At the time, it was like an experimental sound, really. try and recreate a mood whenever we play live. It's not like um, it's not like they want to go yeah and just blow everybody away. We want to give them something that um, they can relate to in a way, but I don't know that we try and give something off our music rather than sheer aggression. There's sort of like emotion behind it and if people can stand back and relate to that thing. but we can detach ourselves from what we're singing about. It's just, um, 
It's just words at the end of the day. I mean, we don't live this um, gore, death. I don't walk around. I'm not a morbid person, so it's it's just uh, like Shakespeare. It's just acting out a, a role when you're on stage and playing, you know, pretending to be aggressive or whatever. It's just uh, acting a role. It's not. It's not, you know, uh, a doctrine to live your life by. It's not the Bible, what we do, so. Our drummer, Steve, he collects, uh, well, I don't know if you want to call it art, but he collects, like, skulls of animals and stuff. And I collect Af old African art, like masks and stuff. And, uh, uh, yeah, we're all, we're into different kinds of things. Take, for instance, heavy metal, like the heavy metal scene, you know. I know that's... It's always been com competition, and they have, you know, like heavy metal bands, like you gotta be the best and, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, death metal is like the opposite to that, like an alternative to that, you know, like one big family. I think the kind of speed of the music is a, is a tricky thing to sort of record, really, but it's, uh, I think, basically get a good guitar sound to start with, keep the, keep the drums sort of fairly dry sounding. Um, it's a combination of a lot of things, really, but um, I think keep, keep, um, keep basic, keep the sounds raw and keep, um, keep too many, don't use too many effects, really and just turn everything up pretty loud. <laughs> it's still hard, it's in your face music. And uh, that's, that's what makes it earache music. So it's still special in that way. But um, there's different kind of, there's a different evolution in the music as well. Bands like Godflesh take a more industrial metal sound, you know, with the drum machine. But it's still heavy and in your face, very fucking heavy band. I mean, earache has been into breaking new, groundbreaking bands, really, not just signing the same old thing. I mean, I don't think Earache's really signed a band that's sounded exactly like another one that's come along already. We'd rather set the trend and, you know, rather than follow the trend like a lot of other labels will do. <laughs> I don't know, we don't want people to get too confused by what we do. Like, people are already reading things into us that aren't really there. I mean, basically, we're just an alternative rock band, really. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all we consider ourselves as being. I mean, if there's, like, weird elements to what we do, that's just, like, an extension of how we feel about things, you know. We don't want to be seen as... Well, I don't mind, you know. If people want to read into things that aren't there, then that's up to them. But...